Hey, welcome to Getting Real with Matt O'Neill. Today we're talking about my favorite topic, morning routine. I read the book Miracle Morning and that book changed my life and ever since, and it's been maybe a decade, I have been working on my morning routine because it is the key that sets up all the success for the day. So I'm just gonna give you some actionable steps about what you can do to enhance your morning routine. The first step is to wake up with your first step with gratitude. And when I get out of my bed, I took a, a little piece of paper and I wrote on it, thank you. And I taped it to my floor. So when I wake up, the first thing I do is my left foot hits the ground, I say thank, and my right foot hits the ground and I say you, and I walk all through the house. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And the whole time, I'm reprogramming my mind from, oh my God, I can't believe it's so early, I'm so tired, to gratitude, 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 gratitude with my first thoughts. So that you can implement this step tomorrow. Just take literally a notepad, some tape, a pen, thank you, put it on the floor, and then you'll remind yourself to start your day with gratitude. So that's step one for me. The next thing I do is I go to make my coffee and I have a, a glass of water and I put half a lemon in it. And so this just hydrates my body. And so as my, I'm making my coffee, I'm drinking a glass of water. And the next thing I do after that is I grab my journal. Now you can grab again a notepad, but I sit down in my chair with my coffee and I journal three things from yesterday that I won at. Three things that were wins from yesterday. Why? Why am I writing down three things I won at from yesterday? Well, I'll tell you why. Because my brain already thinks of all the things I lost at, all the conversations that went bad, all the things that I did bad. This is what our brains do. They're wired for survival, so they're always looking for threats and things that went wrong to make them better. But we don't want to focus on what went wrong because we attract more of what went wrong. So every day I write three things that went right, so I attract more of what will go right today. Then I write three things I'm grateful for. Again, gratitude. An attitude of gratitude, that's like the best attitude I could possibly have because I get more of what I like, which is things I'm happy about. And then the last thing I do is I write my 10 goals that I'm looking forward to the most. Every day I write the same 10 goals until I accomplish them, and then I cross it out with victory and I replace it with a new one. My number one goal I'll never achieve, but every day I write, I will do something today that will make Katie feel amazing. My wife, Katie, I'll do something today that makes Katie feel loved. So I'll never achieve that goal because it's a never ending journey for me of continuing to be a better husband to my wife, Katie. Um, but that's just an example of one of my goals. Another one of my goals is um, I choose to laugh, smile, and play with my children today. So it's a goal. Every day I write, I choose to laugh, smile, and play with my children today. Another one of my goals I write every day Matt O'Neill Real Estate sells 400 million in real estate in 2021. I write that every day. I'll tell you what, if you write your goals every day, they will come true. And my goals will come true because I'm thinking about them every day. I don't even have to uh, write it at this point. They're just part of who I am. So that's the start of my morning routine. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this. If you picked up something, maybe uh, send an email to me or give me a comment and I can celebrate with you. Thanks for watching.